Uh, and Boone came back out of there. Pylon does go down. But these force fields can cut that army in half. Uh, we do have infestation pit all in the way. Finally, a fourth guys are being taken. And uh, no more upgrades yet at this time. So will we see a transition here uh, towards a hive tech from TLO? Not sure. Nope, there he goes. Plus two attacks on his roaches. And as I was saying, there's a thread on TeamLiquid.net about gas mining. It's labeled 8% faster, or faster gas mining. But just put an 8% gas mining in a search. And you'll see that some of these geysers are not, they're not all created equal. Um, I think this one right here actually is a little bit farther away than this one. And if you can see it, oh, uh, maybe not this one, but what will happen is three guys actually doesn't mine optimally here. It mines a little bit slower than, say, three guys at this geyser. I don't know if this is one of those. It doesn't look like this is one of those geysers. Um, but they do exist. I think Ohana only has... It has one geyser that's off, if I remember correctly. All the maps are different. But Ohana has one geyser, basically, that's a little bit weaker than the other ones. You take it. Anyways, great thread. I won't talk anymore about it now. Go to TeamLiquid.net and read 8% uh, gas mining. Faster gas mining thread there. Roach is coming here for a counter as the... Uh, Feast does deny that expansion here. Roach is going for a run by towards the third. Uh oh. Could they actually get an immortal there? Oh no, immortal does go down. Uh, some stalkers blinking back, but the probes are. Oh, they're vulnerable here. Gonna go down. A number of probes falling. Up to seven, eight now. And now the roaches are trapped, though. The great blink on top by Feast is gonna be able to kill all of these roaches, but not before they take quite a few probes with them. Let's see, up to 11 right now. 12. And that'll be it. I'm not sure if that was worth it. Um, it was, you know, a pretty good attack. It did quite a bit of damage there with, you know, that 11 workers, but still, I mean, the Harvester Leader, of course, does go to TLO, but we'll check the army size uh, as, the, as uh, Feast pushes out on the map. And what do we have? Two Infestors and a Roach and 58 Lings. So I think Feast will be all right, but he's got to be careful. Um, still no Colossus out on the map yet. Uh, a war prism actually on the way, and plus three ground weapons coming out. Zerglings moving around, and so the fourth will be up for TLO shortly, as well as a fifth on the way now. Overseer coming in, and this overseer has been gooping up that robotics facility. That's at least the second time this game. Um, and that spell is actually called Contaminate. It's not called Goop. It is called Contaminate. Just uh, Contaminate, just for you guys out there wondering. Uh, and here comes a Ling run by uh, as Feast actually pushes towards the 5th of TLL. Looks like they're going to trade here. And the Ling's going to actually not going for the probes, going after the Zealots and the Cannon and the Nexus. The 5th of TLO does fall, but still it's uh, one base for one base, and it will be a 4 base Zerg versus a 2 base Protoss at this point. The Nexus falls, Zealots coming out, but that's just not enough. And what is TLO doing? He takes the rocks down, but oh, and now he moves in. Is there anything here for TLO to deal with Feast's army? I don't think so. TLO in a bit of trouble. Eleven roaches about to pop and three infestors coming out. But there just might not be enough to hold against this army. Two, two immortals here. Force fields going down on the high ground. And that might just do it. It's going to seal the army in there. And a third is going to fall now. What well, was the third? And actually, it will be the fourth base. So uh, TLO will go back to three. It'll be three versus two. Ling's here. Oh, in the natural, if he's doing it. Whoa, they actually took out the Nexus. Holy cow. Immense amounts of damage. Terrible, terrible damage being done here. Uh, both players basically trading their bases one for one. Uh, or actually two for two. And now, Feast actually going to pull back a little bit. Will he go for the, what was the fourth base? And now, sits as the third. Or is he going to go into the natural? Looks like it is the natural. This crawler wall going up for TLO. Will it get it in time? I don't think so. But no, Feast delayed just a little bit here. Picking off some things, and I think he's gonna, yeah, nope. Now he goes up the ramp. Here comes TLO. Great force fields going down. Keeping the roaches back. Infestors throwing down a couple Terran, infested Terrans, but uh, it's not enough. And the crawlers are popping. I think Feast waited just a little bit too long to go up. And so he's not gonna be able to get up there and take that hatchery out with that crawler wall in the way. But TLO hanging on by a thread here. Huge Protoss army out at the front of his base. Blink's going down. Roach is holding at the top. Zealot's coming in. And can TLO hold? He's streaming in reinforcements. But will it be enough? Four more crawlers going down. 
Uh, TLO actually taking a base across the map behind this, or actually um, in front of this, I don't know how you call that. Uh, and now the uh, hatchery is in trouble. Oh, Feast is in a good position here. He's actually going to be able to get at the hatchery in a minute. Does he have enough energy on those sentries, though? Check it. Uh, where are those sentries? There are seven sentries in here with quite a bit of energy. And I think Feast is going to be able to take the hatchery down, pushes the Zerg back into his main. And look at 